I swear I saw Cole's... I have something important I want to ask you. It's about Cole, from Canopus Farms. What? Cole, you say? Yeah. What did that sorry excuse do now? He's dead. What? That can't be. Are you sure? Why would the goddess take him before me? That son of mine. Yeah. He never knew how to do anything right. Ah. I knew it. I knew it. You're Cole's father, are you not? Which also makes you Sarala's grandfather. Huh? What? No, no! Cole's father passed away a long, long time ago. Cole's a bad liar. And now I know where he gets it from. Long ago, you disappeared out of Cole's life by faking your death. And now, he's doing the same. Your son is planning to leave the village, for good. Sarala will be all on her own. So, he's not dead? That little... picking up and leaving his only daughter to fend for herself? Doesn't he know how much that'll hurt poor Sarala? I'd like to wring his neck! Look who's talking. Isn't Cole just following in your footsteps? It's what you did to him. Well, yeah, but it's different with us. It's not the same thing. I did it so my son could grow into a man. Listen to me, young lady. People don't age in this world. And death is rare. Parents stay parents. Kids stay kids. And that dependency, it never changes. That's why kids never learn to fend for themselves. They always have their parents to rely on. <sighs> Even a grown man like Cole. So you see, that's why I faked my own death. It was all for his own good, so he could learn to stand on his own two feet. Right. You say you did it for his own good. And I suppose you believe that. But now, are you gonna let Cole do the same thing? You've been watching over them for years now, keeping your secret. But it's time to step in. What about Sarala? She's already lost her mother, her grandfather, and now she's about to lose her father. She's got no one left. <sighs> I don't want her to be sad. It breaks my heart seeing her unhappy. You're right. I have to fix this. Maybe I can talk to the two of them. And we can start over as a family. It's worth a try. I have a plan. Would you lend me a hand? I'll talk to Cole and lure him to a certain place. Will you talk to Sarala and bring her there? Oh, but please don't tell her I'm the one setting this up. She may not come if she knew. Yes, I can do that. Where should we meet you? Chef Arius' restaurant. Now go to Canopus Farms and talk to Sarala. Please get her to come. Sarala, do you have a minute? Yes, I do. What is it? There's someone who wants to meet you. It's the man who told me about your father. He was with him at the end. <gasps> you mean you found someone who talked to father before he passed? Something like that. What do you say? Okay, where should I meet them? Do you know Chef Arius' restaurant? He'll be there. I do! It's that little place in Arya's village, right? We still call ourselves a research team, but it doesn't mean much now. Thanks. This will be the perfect way to introduce myself. I've dragged other people into helping me with this, so I can't back out of it now. I am going to visit Dr. Sheep right away.
Yes? What can I do for you? Nothing. I'm here to help you. Here, I've brought you these. Are these? Are these what I think they are? Yes! All the natural ingredients I've been searching for. This will advance my research immeasurably. I am in your debt, young lady, whoever you might be. You really don't know who I am, do you? No, I'm afraid not. Should I? Have we met before? I am terrible with people's faces, you know. Now, if you were a sheep... I guess it's not you after all. You can't be Deet. If you were, you'd surely remember me. Did you say Deet? How do you know my real name? Wait, are you... Can it be? Are you Tilda, my sister? Deet, it is you. I knew it. Just a second. You two are long-lost siblings? You're actually Dr. Sheep's sister? Yes, yes. We got split up hundreds of years ago. It happened back when the chaos first poured into the world. I never thought I'd find you out here. I mean, when I first saw you, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was so long ago, after all. Yes, I could say the same. Why, I'd long given up hope that you were still alive. But I don't understand. Why didn't you come to me right away? I was afraid. I didn't know what I'd do if you weren't really my brother. No one knew your name, either. Everyone called you Doctor. So, I just waited. Until you found an excuse to approach him. Yes. Although if I had to be totally honest with myself, the fact is... I was just putting it off for as long as I could. It's your fault, Doctor. Now how could you forget your own sister's face? But... but I didn't. I mean, I did, but I thought she was dead. She looked familiar, but I had no reason to expect my sister to be here. It was inconceivable. Deet, I looked for you for so long. And I too, dear sister. I'm sorry. I should have known it was you right away. It's all right. I'm just so happy that you're alive. I can't believe it. It's, it's like a dream come true. Dearest sister, it's been far too long. We have a lot of catching up to do. Bonjour. I have heard all about you from Cole's father. Please come in. Your timing is perfect. The other three members of Mademoiselle's party arrived moments ago. Sir Allah. Father? You're... you're alive! Yes. And I'd like to explain why. I couldn't just abandon you. You deserve to know the whole story. Sir Allah, let me explain. Who are you? Have you forgotten me? I suppose I... I don't blame you. I'm Cole's father. Your grandfather. I know. They told you I was dead. Wait, what's going on? This may be hard to conceive, but I faked my death. I wanted Cole to grow up and learn to do things on his own. That's why I staged the whole thing and kept it up all these years. And now your father wants to go off on his own and leave you behind. For both your sakes. But unlike me, he wants to do it the right way. He wants you to grant him your blessing before he departs. I'm so sorry, Sir Hala. I wanted to tell you, but I just couldn't. I'm going on a journey. I have to do it. To find your mother. Oh, I just knew it. I knew you hadn't given up on Mother, even after all the time that's passed. Why don't you all have a seat? You can continue talking inside the restaurant. Do you 
think Cole can persuade Sarala? She doesn't seem happy about it. Uh, I'm not worried. Sarala knows more than he thinks she does. She's been watching him for years. She knows he's torn. He wants to take care of his daughter, but also, he's consumed by the need to find his wife. He won't be gone forever. One way or another, they'll see each other again. She knows that. When they finally reunite, she'll be with her father and her mother once again. Sarala has given me her blessing. It took a lot of persuading, but she's going to let me go on my journey. The deal is, if I go, I have to find her mother no matter what. I promised her, all right. I'll find my wife. We'll come back together. It may seem strange for me to say this, but I have no idea how fuzzy sheep actually reproduce. It's one of the greatest mysteries of the natural sciences. I claim to breed them, but truth be told, all I really do is let them go off into the plains at night. Somewhere out there, we scientists believe, are their nesting grounds. One woman has long been searching for them. Cornelia, that's her name. She spends nearly every night tracking fuzzy sheep. The night is full of perils, chaos infusions everywhere, prowling monsters of all kinds. I worry for her safety. Tell me, do you know of the Grail of Valhalla? It is a most holy treasure that lies hidden somewhere within the temple of Valhalla. And why are you asking me? Because I sense that you may have been touched by the chaos, which means you may have some kind of connection to the vessel. It is filled with the divine grace of the goddess herself. Vessel? So this grail, is it like a flask or a casket? No one has laid eyes upon it. But if you are indeed the chosen one, spoken of in the legends, then the angel will take you to the temple, and there you may set eyes upon it. I am a historian, and for many years I have been seeking the grail. This village stands at the edge of the Goddess's Holy Land. Only the Chosen One has the power to cross over to the Temple of the Goddess. Tell me, Traveler, where did you come from? I sense something in you. A kind of strange power. Everyone who lives in this village worships the Goddess Etro. Here, we are closer to her sacred presence than anyone else in the world. One day we shall leave our corporeal bodies and be summoned to her side. Here, we wait for that day. We have not always lived here. We come from Luxarian, Yusnan, and other cities that have since been swallowed by the chaos. But then, as now, the Order ruled the cities. They preach that the God of Light, their almighty Benevelsa, should be worshipped above all other gods. We defied them, and so we were persecuted. Some of my brothers and sisters took up arms and fought back against the Order. However, I and others like me abhorred the violence. So we came out here, seeking a peaceful sanctuary. <laughs> 